Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge Team Mini Series. And today is day five. So today we're continuing our education and training on team smart plans. So on day four, we essentially talked about the difference between individual smart plans and team smart plans, and how you now have essentially a library for your team plans if you're in your team account. And of course, if we're in our personal account, we have our personal smart plans as well. Today, I wanted to talk about the creation and some of the enhancements to team smart plans themselves. So the first thing, when you are looking at going to create a team smart plan, you're going to want to click on this gear icon. Now this again will only show up if you're in the team account. And this is most likely only going to show up for those that are either Rainmaker or enhanced or unlimited permission levels. Okay, so just a heads up, if you don't see this, it may be that you're an agent on a team with standard permission levels. Uh, but as I click on this gear, you can see that we've got some defaults to set up. So this is the designated agent section of Smart Plans. Essentially, it's going to designate a default uh, person, right? We know Smart Plans do one of three things. They either create a task, send an email, or send a text. And so if the Smart Plans job is to create a task, who is the task going to be assigned to by default? Now we can change this within the smart plan, but you can come in and choose, you know, what, the majority of the time, I would say the task is probably assigned to the assignee. Uh, email, maybe the email typically is always gonna come from the Rainmaker. Maybe it's gonna come from the assignee. Let's leave it as Rainmaker for right now. And then maybe the text messages, let's have that as assignee. You can go in and change your defaults at any time underneath the settings menu. And this is if you have uh, unlimited permission, enhanced permission, or you are the Rainmaker, you'll see Smart Plans Designated Agents. Additionally, if you have a partnership team or a husband wife or some setup where you have dual Rainmaker, um, you will see on the second line here, who's going to be the default Rainmaker. Now I'm the only Rainmaker on my team, so I'm the only one that can be selected. But again, if for any reason you do have dual Rainmakers, you can select who the default is. Now, when we come into Smart Plans and we make sure that we're in the team account, we can click on Create a Team Smart Plan. Now, this process will look pretty similar that it does for a personal account. However, there's going to be, again, those enhancements with regards to who is it actually coming from. So let's dive in. Here we are going to create this Smart Plan. Let's just say the first thing that it's going to do is send an email and then uh, there's going to be a delay, then it'll send a text, and then a delay, and then a task, and then a delay, and then a call, or whatever, right? So we're just putting in four touch steps here. On each one of these steps, you're going to see that it's going to say, all right, this is the email, and we chose default was Rainmaker. So you can see it says use default designated agent. If for any reason at this particular step, in this particular smart plan, we wanted to change that, we could just by unchecking that box and then clicking on the drop down and changing that to contact assignee. As we come down to the MMS, we had said, or uh, Twilio portion, right, sending out a text, we had said the default would be Rainmaker, so we can change that on this particular step and this particular smart plan if we wanted to, to contact assignee. And you can see the same, so on and so forth for creating a task and also for making a call. So you have that ability and you can have one call, right? It could be a task within the same smart plan that this task is assigned to the Rainmaker. However, if I were to add a new task to the bottom, I could assign this particular task still within the same smart plan to the contact assignee. And you could do the same thing for emails and the same thing for text messages. So maybe it's some sort of smart plan that you're reaching out to and maybe it's post-close follow-up or you're welcoming somebody, congratulating them on signing a listing agreement, whatever it might be. Uh, that first email might come from the Rainmaker and then all subsequent emails or text messages would come from the assignee. So a lot of flexibility within building out the smart plans for teams and deciding each step for each smart plan, who is that uh, step going to come from? So. Uh, that's some of the new enhancements to the team smart plans. Again, remember the first step would be to come in and let's actually navigate out of here. Um, come in and set up your settings, right? Click on the gear and choose your defaults. And then from there, you can go in and create your smart plans. 
In addition, if you've got some smart plans that you have created, so let's go in, I showed you this post-close follow-up, how we got that into the team account in um, day four's challenge. But let's say we're going through here and we're looking at the steps and we decide, you know what? This first task, this shouldn't go to the Rainmaker. Uh, this task should actually go to the contact assignee. So I can come in here to an existing smart plan that I've already moved into my team library and I can edit the tasks, texts, emails, and calls to make sure that they're going to the correct person. And then once I've done that, I would just resave the smart plan. So I would recommend that any smart plans that you've moved from your personal library to the team library or made a copy of, uh, that you checked each one of those tasks, each one of those texts, each one of those emails, and make sure, does it need to come from the Rainmaker or should it be coming from the contact assignee? Make your edits, save them, and then move forward from there. Remember, you cannot edit a smart plan if a contact has already been assigned to it. So you wanna do this step first. Immediately after moving the smart plan into your team library, I would go through the entire thing, check all of your steps, make sure they are correctly assigned to either the Rainmaker or assignee, save, and then start adding your contacts from there. That's it for today, guys. Day five of the team mini series for the 66 day challenge. Hope everyone is doing well. And as always, I look forward to speaking to you again real soon.